Hello everybody, I'm Rod and Todd, professional YouTuber, makes professional videos. Uh, sorry for no upload on Tuesday, I just kind of forgot, honestly. It was like, what, 3 in the morning and I realized, oh, I haven't uploaded a video. And then I, so I figured I do this Saturday. I don't know if I should start uploading on Saturdays. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, but whatever. So today we are going to be reviewing the Transformers Power of the Primes Voyager Class Alita One toy. Action figure, whatever, I don't know. So Alita One is the leader of the female Autobots. And for those of you who grew up with the 80s cartoon, she was in this one episode where she led a bunch of female Autobots into battle. And then they just kind of vanished. And so, so, and so, starting with Power of the Primes, Hasbro decided to introduce every single uh, female Autobot into the toy line with original toys. Well, like some semi-original toys. Not only that, they made it so that they can all combine into a giant female combiner. So. I figured I'd be doing a review for each of these figures. We're gonna start with Alita One, and then we're gonna go down. We're gonna get all six of the female Autobots reviewed, and then we'll do a finale where we review the combiner. So this is Alita One in her jet mode. As you can see, it does have this pink landing gear. It's primarily cast in white, and red, and yeah, it's really it. Plastic for the jet mode. This toy is actually very, at least as far as I'm aware, according to the TF Wiki, it is a heavy retool of the Power of the Primes Starscream toy. But there's barely any resemblance to the actual Starscream toy. It just transforms the same way. It has a very similar robot mode. So it probably is a retooling, but I don't know. So, the jet mode is kind of a problem for me, because this, this on the tail fin here, on both sides, and this cockpit paint, and this nose coat paint, are really the only paint apps on the jet mode. The rest of this is stickers. Don't ask me why, but starting with Titan's Return, a lot of the Voyager and Up figures started using stickers instead of printed detail, I'm assuming because it would be cheaper, but these stickers suck. I mean, like, like, I guess the sticker, like, the detail's fine. As you can see here, they're just peeling up, and it's just kind of ugly. I don't know, like, I don't know why you can see this, but on this corner here, like, this side here is specifically just, yeah, there, it's peeling, and you can't get really flatten it down very well. The landing gear is retractable whatever, so you can have, like, yeah, it's one of those nice Transformers jets that have flip-out landing gear, but as with most Transformers jets, they only, they only have the front wheel, and they just kind of expected to tend these or landing gear. Got these nice thrusters on the back. I do like that there is a lot of, like, nice detail on the stickers and on these tail fins. On these tail fins, it says E1, and then it also says below it, Alita 1 Autobot, which you probably can't see on camera. Also, it says Aerial Evolved in tiny text on the wings, and you can't see it because this camera sucks. But Aerial is the original name of Alita 1 in the Generation 1 cartoon. Also, some other stickers, there's some warning stickers, mech access, no step stickers, and of course, nice Autobot symbols. And I guess something cool about these stickers, they're foil stickers, they're kind of shiny, but again, it just looks ugly because they're constantly peeling up. There's these twin little guns right there, which is nice. And that's really all I have to say about the jet mode. So... Transformation is actually kind of involved for this figure. It's this being one of the Generations toys aimed at older fans. They don't have to use one-step transformations that 
basically strip away any articulation so that kids can transform it easily. These are meant for the fans to collect, not the kids. So, transformation, you're going to want to start by flipping up the landing gear. You can see this is already kind of sagging. Let me flip that up. Just, yeah, there. So, I'm just going to start. You fold up the tail fins here. So they're, gonna, they're on a hinge, just going to collapse against the side. You flip out these two top panels right here. Again, we're going to be careful not to damage the sticker. Yeah, which detaches the whole front end, basically. And then, I don't really know if you have to do this, but I like to do this. You just hold up these wings, these are on hinges, and you extend the legs out. And you want to make sure those click in the place where the knee is. And then there's these little white panels on the inside, you can see here. You want to flip that up like that. And do the same on the other side. Just take this white panel and move it up like that. Flip down the feet. Then you're going to rotate the entire back portion here. Make sure it's pegged in loosely, which it, it is pegged in very loosely. You fold the wings back like so. You rotate the whole nose cone up like that, or flip it up rotate these back panels and then finally to complete the transformation you're going to want to rotate the head 180 degrees. So this is Alita One's robot mode. Give me a minute. In there. This is a Voyager class figure meaning it stands at approximately Uh, it stands at about, I'd say from foot to the top of this antenna here, say about six and a half inches or roughly 14 centimeters for you metric people. Uh, so, I guess we'll take this time to look at the accessories for Elite One. Elite One came with these two little guns, for sure. I'm just going to remove these which use 5mm plugs here, but also here, which is integral to the combiner mode, which we'll demonstrate in six weeks. I know it's going to be a long wait, but you're going to have to wait. Or should I just upload, like, daily for this series and just do, I don't know, six days or six weeks, I don't know. So, normally, I like to keep these plugged in to the 5mm holes on her shoulders, or, or not her shoulders, but on her upper arms there. In fact, even, like, the official stock pictures and instructions tell you to do this, because the original Lita one had these little thingies on her shoulders, and I think that's what they're trying to replicate. That, and when you keep them plugged in here, they become the little guns and vehicles. But, if you're so inclined, you can also fit these in her arm, or her hand, you know, she's holding this little pea shooter, but due to the way the fist is sculpted, it doesn't really stand very well. So yeah, I like to keep those there. Uh, Alita One also came with these two arm armor pieces here. Now these form the feet for combiner mode. And as, as you can see, they have this peg here, which can rotate like so. And also has this peg on the back, which flips out like that. And these are meant to combine with the figure. You can remove the guns here from the shoulder, or from the, I keep saying the shoulder, but from the forearms or whatever. Just remove, remove the guns, flip out the little posts on each of these. And they just kind of plug into the hole on the sides there. Now she's armed up or whatever. I've kind of taken issue with these combiner feet, which I'll talk about in the combiner video, but they, they look kind of awkward, really. But there's her armor. And then also something cool is that Alita One, like all Voyager figures in Power of the Primes, came with this Enigma of Combination which can 
which is meant to store in the Combiner's chest, since the Voyager class figure reformed the torso for the Combiner. So as you can see, it's basically this box. Yeah, it's a gray box, painted yellow. And it uses the same universal plug-in as a Titan's Return Titan Master. So give me a minute. I'm just going to use Hardhead here because he has his port accessible in vehicle mode. So I store Alita 1 in my big box of Transformers, so which I also have Hardhead in. So, yeah, we'll just put Hardhead. So, it just kind of pegs in just like a regular Titan Master would. The only issue with this is because a Titan, or not, because Titan Masters have a ball jointed head which allows the head mode to turn side to side. This doesn't because it doesn't transform into anything. So, if you make this your head to represent it being like a drone or something, it removes the head articulation. But that's a nice feature if you really want it. You can also put the Enigma of Combination into the armor pieces. And then Alita One, like all Power of the Primes, Legends, class figures, and upwards, came with a trading card, which is basically useless. You see here that it has it has some art on there, Alita One, and they're actually. 12 variants of each card, and each card would have a, like, it would tell you what would happen if a figure combined with one of the Toy Lion's Prime Masters. And of course, I'm not the kind of guy who hunt down all 12 cards for each figure, so I just have this one. This, this is the one that came with my figure, and it's the Quintus Prime version. And if, basically, if a leader one or combined with Quintus Prime, she would use his power to see to other Valkyrie warriors across the galaxy. The card's words, not mine. And of course, I actually have the Quintus Prime figure, so let's just take him out of his awesome little pretender shell here. Hold him up, he's basically just a Titan Master. And plug him in. A minute. There we go. And if you're so inclined, I guess, give me a minute, I have to find the Titan Master. Yeah, I know I sell like overboard. Actually, let's use one of the auto outboards. Might take a while, folks. Now, forget it. Let's just use hardhead again, because I know he has his Titan Master in the cockpit. So, if you're so inclined, you can also put a Titan Master in there from Titan's Return and just have. Again, hardheads. Whatever. I'm gonna remove the Enigma combination. Demonstrate that. Yeah, dang it. And also, let me remove the armor. So, if you're, the way to get your thing out is this little, little plug there for the whatever fits, and you just kind of finger it out. There we go. So you can fit a Titan Master in there if you really want to, because they transform and they have the same physics basically as a Prime Master or as the Enigma. So if you want a face sticking out of your whatever, then feel free to do so. Okay, Hardhead, thanks for the demonstration. So I'm going to remove the armor and the guns and stuff. And let's take a look at Alita One's articulation. She has a bone hooked head, so she can look up and down a bit and turn 360 degrees. She can raise her arm, which is on a ratchet. So it makes a nice sound. She can move her shoulder out like that, which is also on a ratchet, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, she can do that. She has elbow articulation, which means she can move her elbow up like that. Swivel arm battle grip there. She has no wrist articulation. She can move her thighs all the way out. Sw thigh swivel, it doesn't work too well. And finally, something I've never actually done in this figure, knee swivel, or knee joints. She's no waist articulation or anything. These aren't as 
the earlier Prime Wars figures weren't as aren't as amazingly articulated as the later Siege figures. So there's Chromia. Or not not Chromia. I just said Chromia because Chromia got a Siege. Oh, there's Alita One. Especially YouTuber, I swear. Uh, there's Alita One. And the complaint I have about the robot mode. This backpack does not tab in very well, so if you're just kind of horsed around with it, it'll do this all the time, and it's super annoying. So that's really my one major complaint with this figure. Yeah, see, it's, it just doesn't stay in the place it's supposed to very well. There we go. Also, the wings have articulation here, which is, I'm assuming, I think it's for the torso mode. And we won't demonstrate how to, how to transform it into torso mode in this video. So just have to stay tuned for that. So that was my review of Power of the Primes Voyager Class Alita 1. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. And uh, have, a great, have a great day. This has been Ron Todd, signing off.